right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you have not already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So, this is my review for the 2018 small budget film called Prospect, starring a young Sophie Thratcher from Yellow Jackets and Pedro Pascal from The Last of Us and, of course, The Mandalorian. Them two are the reason I wanted to watch this, to be honest. Uh... I actually tried a bunch a couple years ago to watch this. I watched about I think as I remember five minutes of it and then turned it off. I don't know why, um, but uh, yeah. So here is the plot. In case you're interested, a teenage girl and her father travel to a remote moon on the hunt for exclusive riches, but there are others roving the moon's toxic forests. Now here is the cast. This film was definitely inspired by the 70s sci-fi uh, space films. If I didn't check the release date on this and didn't know who the actors were, I could easily mistake this for a film from the 70s. They definitely did a great job on the look and feel to this. Something very interesting to uh, me was their weapons. Uh, other than the cool feature, future design to them, they had something called a railgun. In, re in real life, our Navy, U.S. Navy, uh, has railguns, but they're so big they have to be uh, attached to the ships. In this film, they managed to shrink them down into pistols, one that looks like a minigun and a rifle that looks like a Civil War rifle. The props overall was great, including the suit designs. They wore suits with helmets in order to breathe as the air was toxic. Um, and uh, now when they talked through different radio channels, through those um, helmets, uh, you got that radio sound effects when they're talking. And when they stop talking, you hear that cut off. I'll, right, it was really good. I wonder if they really filmed it like that. Um, I mean, if they... Yeah, filmed it like that with the audio. And at times you would see them talking but not hearing the conversation when they would switch to the other channel. Pedro and uh, Sophia's uh, chemistry was fantastic and so was their acting, not surprising. The story was more drama than anything. It was a little boring at times, but I found myself having a good time enjoying this by a lot by the end. Here's my rant come back with my final thoughts. For a small budget film, this was really well done quality and the writing was good for what they was going for. I do highly suggest this film. I believe this is still available on Netflix in the USA at least. Um, I would have to check, but I'm having some difficulties getting into Netflix and I have to check in with uh, the actual holder of the account later today. So uh, if I have time, because um, I can't get in. <laughs> Uh, Ray, let me know uh, if you see this. So if I haven't got to you first. Uh, but what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Different, very interesting uh, futuristic type of sci-fi thing. I wouldn't say it's like an end of the world thing. I think it's more of space travel, to be honest. Um, I was thinking going into this, this was going to be a end of the world future problem. No, it's, it, from what I could gather, it was more of a futuristic travel through space to different planets mining and stuff so um but yeah uh i hope to have something out tomorrow if not tomorrow then friday i'm hoping to get three things including this one out so um prepare for that but we'll see if i even get past any but anyways i love you all please stay safe and skull